everyone and welcome to Xbox Ultimate. At the request of some of our viewers, I've got a video for you today of how to set up remote play on the PC app for Xbox Series S and X, as well as gaining access to the new cloud gaming in the PC app. So first of all, you need to go into your console settings and go down to devices and connections. In here, you have the remote features options and you need to make sure that this is turned on. If you have a pin lock like me, you will need to enter that to turn this on. You will also then need to make sure that you have it set so that profiles from this Xbox can be used and signed in. And it's always good to have it set to just only those that are already on the Xbox. Also, you will need the power mode set to instant on. This will wake the device up if it's in standby when you enable remote play. So that's all you need to do from the Xbox Series S and X side. On the PC side, this is currently only open to Xbox Insiders, so it's very easy to sign up if you just hop onto the Microsoft Store from your Windows PC and search Xbox Insider. You'll see there's an Xbox Insider Hub app. Just download and install this. You can see I've already got it installed, so I'm just going to launch it here. Once inside the app, you will need to go to Previews. So you can see here from the announcement that they have announced that the Xbox app external preview is available, but you will need to join the Windows Gaming in the preview section if you haven't already, and this will then give you access to the Insider Windows features. It's always good to do your weekly pulse as well. This gives you a bit of XP and levels you up so you can gain access to more internal features and betas for upcoming games the higher ranking you are. So once you've got that, if you haven't already got the app installed, you will need the Xbox PC app. If you had this installed before you joined the Insider program, you may have to update it again to get that Insider version. It can take a couple of minutes after joining Xbox Insider, but check in the updates. And even if it doesn't show that there is an update, just go and hit that Get Updates button at the top right. As you will see here, even though it said I only had one update, suddenly I have a few more. So if you're not downloading the Xbox app after joining Insider, then make sure you hit that update to get the latest version. You'll know that it's the latest version when you launch the app because you will have this cloud gaming option in the middle. And now you can also play all of the cloud enabled games directly from your PC in the app. You will still need a compatible controller connected though, so as you see, it's detected that I've just turned my Xbox controller on. Now for remote play, you do not want to use the left hand side here, that's for managing your PC games. You'll notice that there's this console icon in the top row. So if you click that and then select your console, all being well, you will get a similar cloud streaming option, and then you'll connect to your Xbox. If you stay on this screen a very long time, and I mean more than a minute, or you stay on this black screen more than one minute, then something's not right. Now, bear in mind, this is an insider app at the moment, so it may not be the most stable. After a few remote play sessions, I did have to go and restart my Xbox to be able to do the remote play again. And the symptoms of that were it just basically sat on a black screen for quite some time. But other than that, you can see that I'm now controlling my Xbox remotely. I've just set the Art of Rally to download there, and I'm going to load up Forza Horizon 4 just to have a little play and just to show you that that's all set up and working. You can tell that it's the Xbox version. When we get into game, you can see the volumetric clouds. We've got much more of them, and the detail is just far greater than the cloud-enabled versions. So there we have it, there's how to set up PC Remote Play for Xbox Series S and X. And as an added bonus, you will also get access to the cloud gaming on the PC app as well. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Xbox and Game Pass Ultimate. And we will see you next time.